As a content creator myself, I like to take a deep dive into other people's minds about anything content creation wise, whether it's filming YouTube videos or editing or a certain social media platform or streaming. So today I asked a hundred content creators, what is one content creation tip that you would give to your past self? This is going to be a long video, so grab a snack, drink some water, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you never miss another video from me. I have some things in the works. I'm also on the way to a thousand subscribers, and it would mean the world to me if you just hit that little button. Not for a dang ado, let's get to it. I were to give my past self one content creation tip, I would always say to always do an audio check before your live streams or right when you start. There have been so many times where, like, I had a great streamer and I had a whole bunch of ideas for clips and I go check and like there's no game audio or I was muted during this part or something. So always do an audio check whether it's just like check your stream on your phone real quick or something. Just make sure that the audio is good before you go on. That would be my tip for my past self. Just go for it. Even though I'm still pretty new to content creation, it's been so much more enjoyable being able to put myself out there with little fear of failure. And there's no way to get anywhere if you just sit there hoping for success. Stop being so scared of streaming whatever I want to stream. No need to follow the hype of the game I do not enjoy in the first place. Greetings everybody, I'm Sir Pizzly and we got a stream question from your favorite moderator. If you could give your past self one consecration tip, what would it be? Hmm, great question. My biggest tip is this. Don't be afraid to reach out to people online. Some of the greatest opportunities I've had as a streamer has come from doing such. Opportunities from meeting amazing people from the fandom, being part of charities, and getting the opportunity to chat slash show off so many cool and talented game devs have all come from this simple tip. And remember this, at the worst they say no or decline and you move on to the next. Just remember, never give up and have fun because more cool things will come your way. Pizzly's promise. It would be to niche down and actually play the game you love. Don't worry about what's going to get you views because if you're doing something you're passionate about, the views will come. It would be to not be afraid of experimenting or what other people think of it. I discovered areas of contemplation I love because eventually I took those leaves and I wish I've done it so sooner. Be yourself because then you'll get more views. If I could give my past self one content creation tip, it would definitely be to turn off that view count. You don't need to worry about how many people are watching. The most important thing that you need to worry about is having fun. It would be to play whatever game I want and like, and not to feel pressured to play only certain games because of viewership numbers. My tip would be to be consistent with content because once you've fallen out of the swing of it, then it's so much harder to get back into it. I'll tell myself to commit to streaming right away and go full freak weird out mode ASAP instead of trying to copy what I saw people doing around me. That is the best advice, to be weird as humanly possible right away. The first 100 streams you do are just practice streams. Create what you love the most. Don't go chasing viewership and only create what they want. Create what you're satisfied with. If I could give my past self one content creation tip, uh, I believe mine would be take advantage of the fact that most things, aka uploading to YouTube or TikTok, things like that, you can schedule them. You don't have to do it all in one big sitting, and you certainly don't need to do it like every single day. Just take advantage of that scheduling. It'll save you so much time and worrying later. <laughs> it would be to post that first video. I always delayed myself on posting anything because I felt like videos weren't perfect yet and was worried about possibly of it not doing well. Now that I've started posting, I fall in love with creating videos again and I've started to worry less about the video doing well or not. It would be not to take it so seriously in the sense of having to do what everyone else is doing in order to do good. Only ever following what other big creators did can be exhausting. It was exhausting when I started out doing that because I wasn't sure what to do. I didn't like a lot of stuff I was trying to keep up with. It wasn't until I kind of just started doing the stuff I enjoyed, regardless if anyone else was doing it or not. I started to feel less burnt out and enjoying what I was doing, as well as actually starting to fit into a community I was happy with and producing much better content. I'd say if someone's giving you the ick or making your stomach turn, run! Run for your life! Those people are always bad news. Please, please, please trust your gut when it comes to your own safety, because it knows. 
You are your own person and you are much stronger than your limitations you think you have. You could be much louder than your insecurities. Hi everyone, my name is Zach or Zach of Hearts. I'm a variety streamer and content creator whose content mostly focuses on Nintendo games. And if I could go back in time and give my past self one piece of content advice, it would probably be to spend more time in other people's communities and other people's streams and really build up those connections and make more friends in the content space as soon as you can. Just like in any other job, networking is huge in content creation. And I found myself that not only does it make for a more engaging stream and it helps you grow quicker, because when you collab with other people, you can see people from their stream coming over to your stream as well as people from your stream going over to their stream. Uh, it's also more fun for me to do as well. Uh, I'm someone who would rather have somebody to bounce off of and kind of have more of that back and forth with as opposed to just sitting there talking to chat by myself. It makes for a more engaging stream for both myself and for the audience. So if I were to go back and give myself one piece of advice, it would be spend just as much time, if not more, time going into other people's streams, making new friends, really integrating yourself into more other people's communities. And that way, not only will you make a bunch of new friends in the content space, but you'll also grow faster too. There are a lot of things I regret from my past streaming life all the way up until this year, but I think the one thing I wish I could go back and tell myself is to stop trying to be like other people and to just be myself. I used to do different streams just acting like how other bigger streamers would act, and it was a major flaw of mine, which I feel held me back a lot. I'd probably tell myself how to use CapCut to edit TikToks. It's way faster if you do it in a hurry or on the go, or if you don't have access to a computer to make content. It would be to just be unconditionally yourself. I know it sounds lame, but when I was just starting out, I was in a community that was pretty toxic, and I tried to fit into molds and to try to make everyone happy, which obviously didn't work. Every decision I have made impacted someone, whether it was for the better or for the worse. It's brought me to where I am in the community today and I couldn't be any more grateful. I tried to please everybody and get into friend groups I just didn't belong in at the time, mainly MC years back then, when that existed. But here I am, finding myself in the same position I wanted to be in two years ago. I had my fuck-ups and past that I shouldn't have turned. Yes, that's true, but I repaired all those pasts, besides mayhem slash half-joking, and I've been put into a position where I'm more mature and with much more knowledge than I would have had a year ago. If I was just unconditionally myself back then, I think I would have been in a better set. I'm a person who doesn't hold regrets at all, to be honest. This isn't a situation where I'm sad or pissed off at. I'm actually happier now that I took those steps that I did. I just wish I could have known them sooner and at a much more convenient time in the event space. Have goals. Try your best to stick to them, but understand your own limits. Physical, mental, time available, and energy all play a part. Don't get discouraged. Just work within your own constraints and be okay if your output doesn't match everybody else's. Hey, I'm Astro Online and my tip for my past self is if you want to make an account for your content creation, you should not use your personal account because no matter how much you modify it, Timmy from Math Class could always comment on your post if your personal info or a 30 year old man could look into your following list or post that you are tagged in and slowly make connections to find out where you live. This is also for the people with big friends too. Make a new account and block Emily if you think she's gonna make fun of you and possibly dox you. One thing I tell my younger streamer self is to not be afraid of reaching out or taking opportunities. I had done quite a bit of research before starting streaming, so I knew most of the general tips. But when it came to finding groups or friends or events, I was kind of lost. Thankfully, I was miraculously friended by some fellow streamers I had been tuning into, which in turn led me to meet people I still talk with to this day. But I'm sure if I had gotten the courage to reach out more back then, it would have definitely helped my shyness. Twitter is surprisingly a great place to find new streamers and network, as well as looking within your niche, favorite games or subjects, etc. Also, applying to or interacting with new opportunities like companies, events, competitions, and more. Even if you don't think you'll get in, it can be an amazing way to get your name out there, and hey, you may be surprised. There's been times where I was invited to things I thought I had no chance at. So believe in yourself and get out there. The biggest tip I could give myself in the past is don't mask your true self because you want to fit in the standard. It dulls your light and actually makes you not stand out because you're not being authentic. Being scared of judgment and failure is very taxing and can make it not feel worth, but it is. I still struggle with this. I really think it would have helped if I started caring less about those things sooner. Be your truth, authentic self, and the audience that is right for you will flock to you because they love who you are. Well, if it is one thing, it would be to start being true to myself and just be me more. Because compared to me now to when I first started, I was scared to be myself. And ever since I have been cutting, loose people have been enjoying our stream more. 
This is Keel. I wish I could go back to tell myself to try new things and not let my fear of being perceived get in the way. If I could give my past self one content creation tip, it would be that breaks are okay. No matter if it's one day, week, or month, a break is okay. It's better to be relaxed and happy to create than burnt out and tired. Do what works best for you and don't be afraid to experiment. Quote unquote streamer tips that might work for some people might not work for you. So it's best to try out different things until you find something that will work for you. Hey, it's me, the Necro Cat. And I got a question for you. If you could give your past self one content creation tip, what would it be? It's a good question, dude. Do I'm Necro? That's a good question, uh, Necro Cat. Someone uh, messaged us on Twitter, Debbie, with that question. So, um... I would say just keep being passionate, dedicated, inspired, be genuine, help people along the way. One one thing, just keep going and don't get frustrated or disheartened. You're doing amazing and I'm proud of you. Boom! Yeah, just keep it up. Be genuine, um, be entertainment, high energy and stuff, and you got this. <laughs> Dude, be yourself. And boom, dude. Boom. See what I mean, dude? <laughs> okay, we gotta go. I'm collecting some money now. I'm gonna be that one guy who says nothing. I know, oh my god, he's being so philosophical. Basically, I feel like my journey up until now has been really... I'm kind of rough, but I think it's meant to happen for the great good. I know there's a few things I could go back and tell myself and I thought about it quite a lot. But like if I go back and say, oh, carry on doing the podcast. By that, I mean go back before the break and say, carry on doing it. Carry on hashing it out for context here. I wouldn't have met the people I met today. I probably wouldn't even be in this video right now because I would have been in a whole different community or just in a whole different space of mind, I guess. But yeah, I just I feel like everything's kind of happened for a reason. I've kind of known when to hop at the perfect times. Uh, my whole content journey has kind of happened for a reason, you must say. Uh, so yeah, I, I wouldn't tell myself any different. I, I wouldn't affect it. I'd just kind of let it happen uh, as it's happened. Hello, my name is Respawn. I am a full-time content creator. And one piece of advice I would give my past self would be the sooner you treat this like a job, the sooner it becomes your job. A piece of advice I'd give my past self would be to not care about others' opinions on you. I took a long time gathering the courage to start content because of fear of judgment from school peers and people around me. And when I finally let go of that, I felt so much more free and comfortable with my own content. Don't worry about what others think. Be proud of what you do. TBH I think one thing I'd tell younger me about content creation would be not to worry about the numbers and to focus on yourself before your work, because if you're not happy, your content will reflect that. I think a content creation tip I'd give myself is consistency is key, at least when it comes to streaming. My best times on Twitch happened when I was being consistent, and I've seen my friends go through the same. I feel like it's an overused piece of advice, but it's the one that continues to be the most true. I would tell myself that it is okay to take breaks. SN put my mental health first. This has always been a struggle of mine, and I still have trouble making myself take nights off of streaming when I've had a bad mental day. My tip would be as follows. Maintain healthy perspective. What I mean by this is, it is important to not drive yourself into a spiral with unrealistic expectations. Issues like over-crunching hours, expecting faster growth, over-obsessing over the numbers and or comparing yourself to others and their path patterns and expecting the exact same is unhealthy. I therefore advocate that all streamers should from day one do a bit of industry research and temper their expectations. A lot of streamers get into it expecting too much and either burn out or have temper tantrums when it doesn't go the way they expect it to. Maintain a healthy expectation and attitude towards it. 
Content creation is a marathon, not a sprint. Everyone has their own pace and it's very competitive. Not everyone can do it professionally. Doing it as a hobby is perfectly acceptable and normal. I would say this advice is less aimed at myself and more towards others, given what I have seen others go through due to awful spirals as a result of engaging in those unhealthy behaviors described. It's awful watching people you care about lose perspective and well-being because they are wrapped up in self-destructive behavior. Specifically with regards to me and the above advice I tend to overwork hours is my problem, but I am regularly working on getting a healthier work-life balance. Hi, okay, um, so, uh, so the question is, uh, one tip I would give my past self for content creation, I guess, um, I would probably say start, <laughs> start giving my advice, because like, bro, I could have started like six years ago, I could have been... <laughs> I could have been done with the grind already like i could have had it done but i was so insecure and constantly like oh but people won't find me interesting and like my art isn't good enough and blah, blah, blah. shut up <laughs> just do it <laughs> the worst that can happen is you'll fail but you can do that at any time so just just go for it man <laughs> and that's been me peace give my past self one piece of content creation advice Hey, you got any ideas for something that, like, you know, past me could use for content creation advice? Stop uploading terrible content? Something constructive? Okay, um, ask other content creators for advice and invest in Premiere and After Effects. Those are pretty good content creation tools that can help you get really far. Hmm, yeah, that's... That's, that's pretty good. The fact that I almost hit the start streaming button is hilarious. Oh my god. Okay. If I could give my past self one content creation tip, what would it be? I would tell myself to just have fun with it. Because when I started, I played games that were popular, not games that I wanted to play. And now I just have fun. And that works. So, yeah. Just have fun with it. <laughs> And the tip I would give my past self would be to stream as much as possible and with the right people. It would be, as long as my content is something I am proud of, external opinions are just noise. It would be to not be scared to be different and to fear standing out. At the end of the day, that's what makes you become your own person and have your own vibe energy. It's what, at the end of the day, makes content creation fun. If I could give myself one tip, it is to be consistent, do what you love and not for the money, not that there's a lot, but do it because you love it and give it 100%. Okay? So my advice would be, don't join any of those sneaky groups that are really just F4F scams to give you a push to affiliate, because yeah, maybe you'll get there, but they'll all disappear and you'll have to start all over again anyway. Might as well work on your niche and finding your own community regardless of how long it takes. Keep learning. There are so many cool ways you can do content creation and make it entirely unique to you. You don't have to do what everyone else does, just because you think it will make you popular. If I could go back and give myself one piece of content creation advice, I'd say it would have to be to stop caring about what everyone thinks. You can't please everyone, and even if you were perfect, there will still be people who will have something bad to say. Hi, my name is Kiki is Online, and if I had one piece of advice to give my past self about content creation, it would definitely be to just start, just hit go live and have fun with it. I know it's a little cliche, but I've genuinely enjoyed content creation, and I've only been doing it for the past few months. I started back in February, and though I'm still pretty new, I've been having a lot of fun making friends, playing games, and talking to chat, and it's been an absolute blast. And I can't wait to go make some more new friends and to continue talking and gaming and sharing my thoughts with the world. I've been having so much fun, and I genuinely wish that I started sooner. To my past self, I want to tell you something very important. 
Go ahead and do that big idea that you want to do that someone has already done. There is many, many content creation ideas and many opportunities out there, but I know how you want to do that cool live event. I know how you want to do that cool challenge idea. Go ahead and do it because you could do something very different than them. You bring a whole new idea to the table with your wittiness, your creative editing, and how personable you are to the audience. So go ahead and do that idea. It's gonna kick off. And if it doesn't, well, you'll do another idea. There's always gonna be many more opportunities, but at least you said you did it. And that's the most important thing. Get things out there because you can say you did it and you did it in a fun way. It would definitely be to post my content on different platforms rather than just Twitch. I'd put more effort into making more TikToks and YouTube videos to share my streams with offline viewers. Make TikToks. I feel like TikToks could have helped me so much more. Then naturally growing for years, I've seen my fellow peers use TikToks and short form content, and they are already my size or even bigger when they only have been a content creator for months compared to my years. I would probably tell myself to not get so attached to editing. It's hard for me to edit nowadays before I got so attached to it. I would edit nonstop, constantly putting out videos, and at some point I started to hate editing. I'd also say not to focus on numbers because they aren't reflective on the quality of my content creation. If I could tell my past self anything, it's just to keep moving forward and do what you can do. There are plenty of things you can't do, so just stick to what you can do until you can do the things you couldn't before. One piece of advice to give to my past self? There's so much but one that sticks out is, don't be scared of the unknown. You may fail here and there, but you'll never know what will be your big break. Reach out because you might make new friends, but be yourself. There will only ever be one you. Whenever I'm feeling unmotivated to post content on TikTok, YouTube to grow my Twitch, and I'm having the thoughts of, this is going to take so long to grow, I always remember this quite, the time will pass anyways, and it reminds me to do the most of the time I have right now for my future self. The biggest tip I'd give myself is, don't try to succeed on the first try. I'd always shift gears trying to learn the most I could about algorithm optimization and things like that. And I can't say it didn't help, being a mostly YouTube-focused creator. But it did take focus away from finding a niche and topics I actually felt passionate about making. Hello, my name is Sloth Queen, and if I could give myself one piece of advice for content creation, I would say to keep going and to stay motivated and to play all the games that you like instead of feeling constricted to what's um, popular at the time. As long as you're having fun, then that's all that matters. Hello, my name is Zach, aka Local Sense, and Debbie asked me what is one content creation tip I could ask my past self, and honestly, that would be to be you. Make authentic content and put yourself out there rather than having to copy someone else and you might not even know what to do as a new content creator. It, be you. That's, that's it. Be you. If you put yourself out there, then you have more of the opportunity to grow as a creator rather than copying someone else and taking twice as long to grow. If you can give one content creation tip to your past self, what would it be? Honestly, for me, there's not really much else to say other than to just have fun. Like at the beginning, when I first started making content, I was just so stressed about everything. I was so stressed about everything, uh, like everyone that I like would be meeting, it, whether it was in the future or now. And um, I didn't know if I was like ever going to have a good time. And I never really did have as much of a good time as I am having now because I cared, I cared about everything way too much. So I think the most important thing is in content is to literally just have fun, have a good time, and just don't worry about things because it's, it's okay. You're already making a fool of, fool of yourself on the internet. So, you know, might as well just carry on. Yay, digital footprint. <laughs> Woo! I'm probably never getting a job. Yay! <laughs> don't be afraid to set boundaries with chat. I would let myself give in to chatters or let things fly because I felt obligated to since they were giving me views and being active in chat. 
I would let viewers use me as the butt of a joke. Beak I didn't want to seem like a boring or can't take a joke streamer. I've learned that people who truly support you would never want you to compromise your integrity. My one tip is, it's okay to take breaks and throw on a BRB. No one will be offended or mad at you for taking a three-minute break every hour or two to get eat or drink something. If you are like me, you will still hyperfixate and forget to stand up and go for five-plus hours. Take that break and breathe. Homie, it's fine. I have post-its and bot reminders for this, too, since it's my worst habit or trait when it comes to streaming. One tip I'd give to my past self for content creation would be just to stay consistent and not burn out so easily. I've gained so much by just having a consistent schedule that allows me to have free time but also grow my socials. But past me would typically go on week-long streaming sagas and then not stream for months, which caused me to not grow as much as I could have. I think the main tip I would give my past self is to prioritize my own enjoyment of creating. Having one extra chatter in a stream isn't worth it if that chatter makes you uncomfortable. Playing a game all the time, because it's what trending isn't worth it if you don't actually enjoy that game very much. Posting on every single social media known to man is not the only way to grow. You can just pick the ones you have fun making content for and still get places with it. That sort of thing. I guess it would be, don't put all your eggs in one platform. When I first started streaming, eight years ago. I was moderately growing while streaming on more than just Twitch. After years of staying at the same rate since I began multi-streaming again, I've been getting steady growth on all platforms. I only wonder what would have happened if I kept multi-streaming all along. Hello, my name is Your Girl Love 25 but I go by love, that is my actual name. And last week I asked to be part of his Debbie's video today. And she did ask me the question, if you could give your past self one content creation tip, what would it be? And I thought really hard about this. And my biggest tip would be is that don't look at anyone else's success. If you follow me on Twitter, you have seen me post time and time again that Rome was not built in a day. Which is true. But the other thing is, Rome and her other amazing cities that surround it were all built at their own pace, at their own time. And they all have their own history and story behind how they became to be the great city we know. So that's how streaming is. Don't look at anyone else's success. Yes, they probably got more numbers, more followers, a community. You're just trying to think to yourself, like, why can't I have that? Why can't I be successful just like them? Because that's their story and that's the path they picked. And that's their community. You have to pick your own story, your own path, and your own community. Yeah, you can do what everyone else does. You might find success in it, or you may not. But that's okay. You will find success in what you love to do. And people will find you. Trust and believe. There is a group of people out there who are going to love your content. I have amazing streamers I love. They different. They differentiate from different people, for real. I love Corey Kenton. I love Barizzi. I love different YouTubers. And they all play different games. I'm going to play the same games. But the thing about them, I love them for what they are, who they are as streamers. They all have different personalities, but I enjoy what they do. And that's why I follow them. That's why they inspire me. And that's what you're going to do one day. So stop looking at other streamers' success and look at your own. Rome and Vince may be in the same country, but they are built differently. They both have their own history, how they became to be. But yet people know them. People know how beautiful they are and how great a city they are. L.A. and Chicago, they both are from different sides of the United States of America, but they're both famous cities, both beautiful cities that people love. And everyone draws to them. People love going to L.A., people like going to Chicago. Everyone has their reason, just like streaming. Everyone has their reason to find that one streamer who they like and who they get them, and that's you. So stop looking at the success of everyone else. And look at the success of what you're making and what you're doing. Yeah, it's not coming quickly as you thought it would be. But hey, if they built those cities quickly, they're probably tumbling down and want to be the cities we know today. Just like that. So look at your own success and knowing that you are doing your best.
The one content creation tip I would give my past self is analytics and the quote unquote grind mindset isn't everything. My reasoning behind this is because I believe looking into analytics ruined me for a while because I would be constantly trying to see if I was good enough for other people and then it would affect my mental health severely. And as a disabled creator, the grind mindset is extremely taxing if you're trying to push through it while being disabled. Which I ultimately gave up on that mindset because I'd rather be mentally and physically okay than to completely burn out trying to be what I'm not. My one tip would be to have boundaries. The internet is a tough place, and some people love to push the boundaries of content creators to get reactions out of them. I'd tell my past self to remain calm and don't give them a second thought. In the long run, the trolls do not matter, but the energy you put into them does. Save that energy for better things and keep pushing. And simple, not everyone is your friend. You have to stand your guard. People will judge you no matter what you need to be prepared, because you can be a sheep attacked by wolves. I'd say try to make streamer friends. Reach out to people in your community more often. Raid your fellow streamers. I recommend content creators to your audience. Some of the coolest people I've met are fellow CCs who I got to know because they dared to reach out to me and talk to me. The sooner you get over that socially awkward hurdle, the more fun you'll have and the more doors will open. My biggest tip to my past self would be don't fear content creation. The perfect clips don't need to be cracked gameplay or crazy edits. Add some subtitles and post yourself laughing crazy with teammates or being hyped with chat. The pressure to post something perfect made me too scared to post something at all. I'm so glad I feel comfy enough to just go for it these days. Mine would probably be the world of content creation is addicting. It feels good to be seen, recognized, appreciated, and sometimes even glorified. It can be consuming, always wanting to be present for your community, networking, and creating new innovative ways to entertain and elevate your stream. This is all good and all to want to improve in your hobby passion, but remember balance. Without balance, you will lose touch with your reality, which will affect your relationships with family and friends. Hi, I'm Pad Bay. If I had to give my past self one content creation tip, it would be just put it out there. Don't worry about the number of likes. Don't worry about how you think it should have performed. Don't worry about any of that. Worry about improving one thing each week. And you'll see you'll reach perfection soon enough. Primarily streaming for fun yet worrying about numbers and growth is a recipe for disaster. I struggled with this for years and finally decided to make streaming and content creation hobbies only aka for for fun with no worries of growth or number-based goals and have been so happy ever since. Determine if you're wanting to stream for money a job or just for fun and do what's needed to accomplish your goal. Going back and forth between the two isn't super productive, specifically from the I'm just having fun perspective. I can't comment on the perspective of wanting to do this for a job and having fun at the same time since it's not my experience. The biggest tip I would give myself is talk freely. I spent so long questioning my opinions and what to say, I'd come across as awkward thinking or stuttering before I said something. Be yourself, talk, express yourself in your thoughts and opinions. If you find something fun, say so. If you're not vibing with a game, say so. Not everyone will agree with your opinions or feelings about content or what you're doing, and that's okay. But there will be people who do, and there will also be people who disagree, but will not think of you differently. You will find your community and it will be amazing. Nothing you make will be perfect and that's okay, you are a human. I used to spend so much time worrying that something wasn't good enough to post or that my editing didn't look as great as other creators. I was scared to edit things and I just wouldn't post. That mindset doesn't help you get better. You have to practice something to get better at it. Looking back at my older content, it kind of sucks compared to what I make now. But that's good it means that I've gotten better at what I've practiced. Now, I have the mindset of posting things I've created as long as they're good enough. It's not perfect, it never will be, but it's better and that's what matters. Hello, my name is Esme, and if I actually had to give myself and, you know, other people one content creation tip that I, you know, I wish I would have gone back then is, you know, instead of trying to create content that I see is blowing up on stream, focus more on content that I actually would want to make long term like for instance i right now i love making book content but a few years ago i would have not made book content because i well you know i liked book content it wasn't going around on surface or like it wasn't popular 
And so, like, that's one tip I would give my past self. Like, hey, create the content that you want to create, not what you want, like, what is trending at the time. Yeah, I hope you guys get what I mean. Quality over quantity. Focus more on mental health. It's okay to start off small. You're going to have a rocky start, but you don't need big numbers immediately. All you need is to make that start. It'll get better eventually as long as you're consistent and do the best you can. I would 100% say, don't worry about what others think. You play whatever games you want, don't listen to any negativity on your streams, just ban them. I would tell myself to play whatever interests me. Don't stick to just one game. Instead, build consistency. It's slower growth, but the viewers are so much more genuine and are there for you and not the game. Please excuse my voice, by the way. Allergies are kicking my... Anyways, if I could go back and give past me a little bit of advice about content creation, it would be to remember that it is my content and not anybody else's. I used to really let people pressure me into making content that I didn't want to make and wasn't comfortable making just because they wanted me to make it and they wanted to make that kind of content and wanted me to be there for that. And I think it's really important to remember that it is your content. It's not anybody else's. And if you don't want to do something, you don't have to. It doesn't matter if all of your friends are doing it. It doesn't matter. If it's not something that's going to make you happy, it's not something that you should be doing. And that was something that I really, really struggled with, is I would just make whatever content my friends were making because I just wanted to play with my friends. And then that ended up kind of hurting me in the long run because I wasn't really happy with my content for a very long time. But now I am making content that I can be super proud of and that I'm really happy creating and it's fun again and I've got that spark back for it. And it's something that I had to learn, hey, like, Put yourself first, but I feel like it's a really important lesson and I'm glad that I learned it when I did. And hopefully newer creators can learn that a little bit faster than I did. Honestly, it would be don't sleep on other socials. I just started actually using them mid-April and in a month I've doubled what I started May with average and actual follower numbers wise. My biggest tip to my past self would be don't fear content creation. The perfect clips don't need to be cracked gameplay or crazy edits. Add some subtitles and post yourself laughing crazy with teammates or being hype with chat. The pressure to post something perfect made me too scared to post something at all. I'm so glad I feel comfy enough to just go for it these days. For me, it would be to not concentrate on numbers too much and to just enjoy the streaming and engaging with your viewers. Besides almost everything you projected were on track, you got to understand overlay for your channel isn't necessary and get yourself together on getting your PNG per character done. Cough, cough, get a job. Money makes things so much easier. Ooh, that's definitely a tough one. I think the biggest content creation tip that I would give myself would absolutely 100% be stop being so self-conscious. What do I mean by this? I have to say that I was lucky enough to never have to struggle too much when it comes to like, reaching viewership and like getting opportunities, but I never felt deserving of anything that I got. When I had, I don't know, the first time that I peaked at 10 viewers, for example, I felt so undeserving of the position. The first time that I met one of my closest friends to date, I felt so undeserving of their attention. I felt like I was just being put in a spot where oh, other people way more deserving than I did should be, you know? I, I, I still have to fight constantly the feeling that, oh my god, I'm just being running a log. This is, I'm not deserving of this. When that's actually not true, because if you are in a position, yes, it does have some look involved. Yes, it does have some nepotism thrown here and there. But actually, maybe it's just because you're sort of funny. And people like that. And maybe it's just because you're sort of kind. And people like that. And it's okay to just be yourself. You don't have to earn your spot in places where they're, when they're being given to you, you know? Of course, work to maintain it. But you don't gotta prove to anyone anything other than yourself. And even then, we know that we are the toughest judge, judges of character when it comes to like ourselves, right? So yeah, that's all I would say. Just stop being so goddamn self-conscious, grow a backbone, and enjoy your life. Because this is the greatest journey you will ever have. So yeah. Hi, how you doing? My name's uh, Mike, or AKA Crazy Mike Ten. Uh, I was asked the question: What would be the one tip you would give your past self with content creation? Um, probably the one thing I would give as a content creator, not just content create, uh, uh, not just creating the content, but this goes into the mental aspect of it. Is no matter if there's one person or a hundred people in chat when streaming there's always going to be people that look forward to seeing your face or give a sense of fulfillment in seeing you stream 
or make content or something. And I think it's the hardest thing to come to terms with because you, you only see like, oh, it's numbers. You only see chatting. You only see those types of things. And then you realize it's like, oh, I have a bigger impact on people's lives and bringing joy and bringing some laughter and bringing some, um, some form of fulfillment by just being there. And it's hard to see that when you can't like see that person unless they're telling you full on. And so it gets in this mental game of, God, today was bad. I didn't have that many chatters or I didn't have that many numbers. And then you realize it's like, you know, there are people that believe in you wholeheartedly. And it becomes hard to see past that number. And so remembering that there are people that look forward to seeing you or look forward to just being there and watching you be dumb or be crazy online it it means the world to those people so that would be the one tip is uh try to remain uh focused and remember that there are people that look forward to seeing you and seeing what you make